Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. Today I want to give you guys the lesson. Don't stick 100% to Murlocs. Now, a lot of the time, if you make it to Tavern 5 and you got some Murlocs going for you, most of the time you should pursue Murlocs if you have any kind of decent HP pool. Because Murlocs, even though it struggles for a lot of things, it's not very consistent, sometimes you don't have enough time to scale it, you still have to get pretty lucky. All of those things aside, typically, if you pull off Divine Shield Poisonous Murlocs, you're going to win whatever game you're in. Typically. I know there's some exceptions, but typically that is the case. So typically you should pursue Murlocs, but that's not what you have to do 100% of the time. And one of the main uh, builds that you can actually switch to are builds based around parrots. Parrots are Tavern 2 cards, and they activate some really powerful death rattles, making transitions easier than ever before. And as such, to survive, to make it, sometimes you actually switch away from the Murlocs. Enjoy. Are you ready? Rough battle. Pick yourself back up and turn it around. If you were Captain Hook Tusk, would you hear a power of Sarlisk? I think you wouldn't. This is a pretty big risk, though. I think you wouldn't. I think you wouldn't. Welcome back. How's it going out there? The only player with even one Murloc is Deathwing. Alright, it's nice. Sell and buy the 2-3. Yeah, maybe I should have. I do have a board space problem now, so yeah, maybe I should have. Welcome back. How's it going out there? It's not the strongest, but it'll fight. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Okay, that board is absolutely insane, actually. Not what I wanted, but okay, fine. God damn it. Nice. It's kind of bad if I want to try to push... Uh, death rattle stuff. Nice work out there. And I think I do want to push with death rattle stuff. You're down a minion and up a gold. Such big teeth I have. Okay. This is a turn slow to level, but I have three gold extra banked up, so I think it will balance out. Gas Coiler could never summon another Gas Coiler, no. Gas Coiler, however, can summon the boat. Boat, yes. Boat, guys. That boat. Your favorite boat. Damn. The only things I could have killed on that first hit was Alley Cat, which is insane, Spawn, which is insane, or Harvest Golem, which is real shit. And if I didn't kill it, I would have gotten spawned, which is really insane. So that was actually one out of six to get wrecked. 
we got wrecked. Harvest Golem is useless. Can't even play it. Your minions really pulled their the odds are in my favor. I like where you're going with this. A good tactical choice. Okay. Sell Murlocs. Uh, given the nature of this game, Murlocs should probably get first place. And with uh, only us and Deathwing starting with Murlocs, uh, and I'm playing Rafam, it makes it very likely that we're going to be Murlocs. So if we're really likely to go Murlocs, uh, and Murlocs are probably going to win this game, then pushing Murlocs a little bit is probably a good idea. Oh my god, I got sniped. Oh, that sucks. God damn it. Welcome back. How's it going out there? AFK seems quite strong. Not much I want from four, so to avoid taking much damage. Whoa. Okay. Fine. Get that five. If gas can't do that, then why can boat summon another boat? Boat can't summon another boat. I don't know what you're talking about. The boat, death rattle summons pirates. The boat is not a pirate. It's the, the no minion type card. Dude, if the boat can can summon the boat, that's some real magical shit, all right? Oh, we just got the triple three. I should go for a six or a five here. We got the thing for free. Pick yourself back up I think I'm gonna go for a six. Exactly what you were looking for. Safety restrictions offline. Harvesting servo. Kim. Boat's actually good there. Nah, because the parrots might hit the boat while the board is still full. And it would be really crappy then. <sighs> if I didn't have the whole parrot thing going on, then the boat would be alright. But the parrot thing is the the main good thing that I have going for this build. Oh my... Missed plus two plus two. And now that dies because of it, and now that dies because of it, and now that doesn't die because of it. I think that was the difference of winning or losing. Him attacking first and sniping a McCall. I think I'm very favored. Yeah. 84%. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits.
think we'll just try to let this fly. Oh, it's the number one undefeated guy. Three turns ago. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Killed him. Yogg seems to have gotten a bit of a power boost. Found Varen. Sniped my bear and lives with it. Yes. That's a nice hit there. Okay, we beat the undefeated guy. Not getting any Murlocs. I didn't like that one. Here's a goal for the trouble. The true end time. He's dead. Nice work out there. Oh. Keep up the pressure. Could attempt to pick Brant and go for a Murloc finisher. A lot of people are playing beasts. Yeah, I think I have to. I think if I want to win, that's what I have to do. It's so unlikely for me to get stronger in this beast build when like four other players are playing beast build right now. Jebait. Anything the beast is the Jebait, but I didn't really know it. I was one of the first players to go beast. So. I guess I'm not really beast, but yeah, I guess I'm not beast. I mean, one of the first pairs, uh, people to go this bullshit, but that's kind of expected. I'm probably dead. Yeah, Zap owns. How many spawns there are? It's insane. Actually, as long as I, um... Ooh, yikes. As long as I hit the Zap, I'm fine. There we go. Actually, wait, if he's six, I'm dead. Okay, he's five, no. Dead. Okay, he's five. no. Top four anyway, look how fast that game went. Beasts, beasts. There's a gold rim. There's a cleave. Where you're going with this? <laughs> I love catching some waves. Who knows? Uh -huh. <laughs> I 
can't keep that though. Please let me attack first. Okay. Nice. Attacking first was like everything there. I think I was actually quite unfavored. If I if I attack second there, I'm dead. Which means uh, my chance to win can't be higher than 50. In fact, it's probably like 30. 30 something. Anyway. He is beating everyone. Okay. Nice. Does have Rivendare and I want Rivendare as well. The question is, do I want the poison dude or do I want a cave hydra? Sell Murloc. Or is fine, he probably has one cleave. Oh, uh, is that your bait? I'm not sure. I'll try it anyway. I mean, I guess I could tie. I know he has a cleave. It's uh, pretty rough. I think his cleave has to cleave my cleave. Yeah, it really sucks, but... Yeah. Oh, he still doesn't have um, a Baron.
third. I guess so. It uh it's not going to die if uh, I attack first. Oh, double cleave, that's bad. Oh, that's fine. Because now it makes it. Still not dead. One HP voice. There we go. Slightly fortunate. We were favored, though. Look at that single gold room. Just a bunch of parrots. Like that was an end game build that beat a double mama with many triples that got buffed along the way with gold room. This beat it. Five parrots, which are two star cards. A Hydra, the triple didn't matter. A one-drop taunt. Single Baron, single gold rune. Uh, the, the rate that you can get this build is really crazy. The reason it, it took us a while is because uh, there's a lot of people who are playing similar builds.